Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I'm so glad you're here to stamp with me today. Today I'm going to be creating a window card with a um, blended ink background on some shimmery paper, and I'm going to be using the Dragonfly Dreams Bundle that includes this stamp set and this coordinating die set called uh, Dragon Detailed Dragonfly Thinlets. The Dragonfly bundle can be found in this occasions catalog that will be coming up from January 4th through May 31st, 2017. If you have purchased from me in the last year, you should have already received your catalog. If you haven't, please let me know, and if you'd like to receive a catalog, go to my blog where I have a send me a catalog link. Okay, and then the other die set I'm going to be using is the layering ovals. So I'm going to start with my cardstock, which is a the Thick Whisper White, and it's cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at five and a half inches and folded in half. And so with this, I'm going to make an opening or a window through the front of my cardstock with the die. Be sure that you open it up. I don't want to cut the front and the back. I just want to cut the front. So my sandwich will be the magnetic platform, an acrylic plate, and I'm going to put down that thick whisper white cardstock, and the die, the oval die, and an additional acrylic platform, or an acrylic plate. And I'm going to run this through the Big Shot. So after I run that through the Big Shot, then I have my oval die. I'm going to take away my center. I don't need that center piece. And this will be my card base. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping before I move on. With Soft Sky ink, I am going to be using this dotted image from the stamp set. And I'm going to ink that up and give the, just right across the bottom, give it a little bit of texture with these dotted images here. Next I'm taking the Island Indigo and the sentiment that says thanks for the smile and everything else, inking that up in Island Indigo, and we're going to have a bit of paper there, stamp that right over the dotted images. Okay, so that's my card front so far, and I can set that aside for right now. The next step is to take the die, and I'm going to use the die with the connected dragonflies. This is a piece of thick whisper white cardstock, and because of the detail in this this die, I'm going to pull in the regular platform with both tabs shut, the detailed platform, and then my thick whisper white cardstock and my die, and an acrylic plate, and I'll run this through the big shot. Sometimes, because of all that detail, the um, die will have little different pieces that will stick into it. So then you can use a detail, I'm sorry, a big shot die brush to just get the rest of those out. If any of the individual spots stick after you have used the detail brush, or sorry, the die brush, you could just pull in a scissor or a piercing uh, piercer and pop those out. But these are all coming out very easily. Okay, so let me get rid of these scraps. Next I'll be using the Aqua Painter and the Clear Wink of Stella with some Pear Pizzazz ink. I'm going to press the ink pad together to get some of that ink on the top of my ink pad. And with the Aqua Painter, let's pick up some of that ink and I'm just going to color my dragonflies with Pear Pizzazz. I could use, I could just use the Clear Wink of Stella and pick up the green. I, I like to, I prefer to use the Aqua Painter and then add the Clear Wink of Stella afterwards. So I'm not going to show it to you right now, but I continue to go over the entire dragonflies. And then I'll take in the Wink of Stella and add a little shimmer. I did wait till it dried with my sample one. And then I went over the entire dragonfly set with that. But I have done one ahead of time, so I'm going to pull that in here, and then you can see what it looks like, and I'm hoping you can see the shimmer. So you have some pear pizzazz, dragonflies, with the shimmer on the top. Okay, let's set that aside. Next step, I need a piece of acetate. This is transparency film that I just bought from a large office supply store. And what I'm going to do is I'm taking my clear block B, and the first thing I'm going to do is ink it up in... Island Indigo, and I'm going to just spread some of that Island Indigo across the top. I'm going to clean that off. Let's grab a little bit of Night of Navy. Just all I'm doing is stamping that block 
right into that ink pad. If you have the little spots, you could actually do this without the block. I don't have the spots in all of the colors, so I'm just using this ink or block to transfer the color from my ink pad to my acetate. There is a little bit of a challenge with the soft sky because it's so soft that I may have to go back in and add a little bit more soft sky at the end. So now I've taken a, a spritzer that I just have water in. Spritz it so that I can get that ink to flow. And this is my piece of shimmery white cardstock and just laying that down, pressing that around, getting the color on there. And then I'll pick that up. And you can see here that I did have that soft sky. It's definitely not as dark as I would like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe this off. And I'm just going to take it and go right onto the soft sky. I don't have this problem or issue with some of the other, with the darker colors, but the light color seems to have a little bit of the, it, it kind of washes out a bit. So I'm going to use some water spritz. There we go. Just get that that one. And then all I need to do is where I want the soft sky a little darker, I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more. There we go. Now I have more soft sky where I want it. Okay, so then the next step is to let that dry. Now you can speed it up with the heat tool and just take your heat tool, go over and let it dry. And when you're all done, you're going to have these variegated colors or the colors that go together. But I did do one ahead of time. Actually, this has a lot of water on it now, so I am going to move that. So I did this one ahead of time and it is on the shimmery white. So can you see that little shimmer? On there, this is the Island Indigo, the Night of Navy, and the Soft Sky down here at the bottom. And I'm going to cover my window with this. So let's just use a little bit of Fast Fuse and go around the window. Just one like that. Get some adhesive on there. Just cover up my window. If you don't like this showing, this little piece here showing through the back, you could take a piece of white and cover the entire thing, but I'm not going to worry about that. So now I have a little window with the watercolor wash on the background. Okay. Then I'm going to take in my silicone pad, and this is the Dragonfly set that I colored ahead of time. With this, I do like to use the some dotted adhesive to go over those detail or those images that have or the pieces that have a lot of space. And then I'm just going to place this down over my window. One thing about doing that watercolor background the way I did is it never turns out the same twice. You're going to always have a little different look with each card that you do or each background that you do. But you have a beautiful background for your dragonflies and this is covered. If you want to cover that up, take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and just cover that up and it'll be disguised. If you have any questions about what I've done, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris at MyStampLady.com. All of these supplies are available in my online store at ShopWithMyStampLady.com. You can go to my blog at MyStampLady.com and find a printable PDF with the directions and the sizes and all the supplies I used for this card. Thanks a lot for coming by.